<laughs> oh man, y'all, you can't make this up. What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So, you know, we're getting back to the whole situation with Takeoff. And, um, you know, the footage that was released from when the young brother's life was taken away from him, right? And so, in that video, you see Jay Prince. You see some videos of Jay Prince walking right past Takeoff's body as he's laying on the ground. As if, like, like it don't mean nothing to him, right? Walking right past him like it don't mean nothing. And then I see another video where a girl is asking him what happened. And he said, you seen what the heck, you seen what happened. You seen what happened. Shit, you seen. Like, you know, like leaving out all abruptly, talking tough. And his whole persona to me, the whole, his bravado, the way he was coming across. I ain't like it. I ain't like it at all. It was almost as if like he had the persona like he didn't care what happened to take off. You know, like, like it was what it was. It happened, so be it. That's that's how his persona seemed to me. And I could be wrong. He could, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know Jay Prince, Jay Prince Jr. personally. Let me, let me correct myself, Jay Prince Jr. I don't know him personally to say that, but that's what he came, that's how it came across on camera. Like, he didn't, he really was indifferent to take off being shot. It really didn't move him at all. And so... You know, I've seen Jay Prince before on social media and how he's come across with his persona, his bravado. He always seemed to be like a character playing a movie role to me, right? Like a guy putting on a, fa a facade to be like this tough mafioso boss and it's not really him. And see, this is the problem. I believe that Jay Prince Jr. is out here trying to be somebody he's not. And I felt like that for a while now. Since watching him from around, like, I want to say 2020, around that time, watching how he is, how he, how he interacts and how he moves on social media, to me, J. Prince Jr., he seems to be no different than T.I.'s son, King. Y'all know Tip, Tip's son. Tip's son that he got with Tiny, King, the one walking around here trying to play like he gangster, trying to be like he's super tough and he's super hard body just because of who his father is. J. Prince Jr. strikes me as that same individual. J. Prince Jr. out here cosplaying as Tariq St. Patrick for real and a, a, a watered-down version of Tariq St. Patrick. And he think like, like, I don't know, I feel like he think that that's the way to go. I feel like he think he got a whole lot of street credibility that he really, really don't have. You know, it's something about that, man. I always say this. I've seen dudes in the hood, growing up in the hood of Chicago, who their father was big folks, right? Father was big lord or whatever. And they want to be live, they want to live in the same image as their father. They want to be the same gang banging dude, a street dude that their father was. And they feel like they want to walk in them shoes. And, and that's the only way to go. I I don't, it does something to me. Because I know J. Prince Jr. grew up as a privileged kid. His father attained a whole lot of different wealth, you know, with the record labels and he, you know, uh, managing boxes. His father was managing Floyd Mayweather Jr. at one point, right? One of the greatest boxers to ever walk this earth. So I know J. Prince Jr. grew up as a privileged kid, raised in a suburban area, attending great. He also probably attended, I'm sure he attended great schools growing up, right? Raised in a family with good money but want to be a street legend so bad. Like I said before, the streets got a lot of young black men in the chokehold. Like that's, they, they want to live in that ilk. Then that, that it almost seems like they feel like the only way they can be valid or validate, validated as a solid man is if they try to be street dudes. That's the only way they can, you know, they can seem credible as a solid individual. They feel like the only way to go is to be street. That's the only way people can respect them. 
The only way people can admire them, the only way people could endear themselves to them is if they become street dudes. And it's all it all goes back to the thing that I always say. In the hood, people respect fear more than you being a genuine good person. But the thing is, J. Prince Jr., don't, he don't got to move in the hood. He don't got to mingle and, and, and finagle in the hood. He don't have to do that. His father did that, so he didn't have to do that. What Jay-Z say? Hove did that, so hopefully you wouldn't have to go through that, right? J. Prince, big J. Prince, he did that, so J. Prince Jr. didn't have to do none of that, right? But J. Prince Jr. always seemed to be hustling backwards, wanting to surround himself by a whole bunch of street dudes and look like he, I don't know, Scarface, um, Lucky Luciano, goddamn Bumpy Johnson, I don't know. He want to move in that ilk. And it seems to be like got him moving backwards, getting him in a lot of trouble because he trying to, he feel like the only way to be validated is to be some street legend, to be his father 2.0, when everybody know that ain't him. He don't got to be that. You know, he's, he's, he's developed this tough guy, street persona to make us really, to make us believe that he really, he, like he really liked that. Like he really liked that because of who his father is. And a lot of people don't believe him. We don't believe you. You need more people, right? He want to be this young OG, this fake Gambino crime boss who people who people got to check in with when they come to Houston. And I told y'all about that check in stuff. Checking in is just a friendly, a friendly word for extortion. A lot of dudes that check in get extorted like crazy in order to walk around a place where Nobody, nobody in the hood own these places, right? Nobody own these, these locations, these neighborhoods at all. The city own these neighborhoods, but you know, people check in with me, check in with me, getting extorted, like getting your pockets ripped off T to walk with people who really, really, they, it's not guaranteed they can protect you a hundred percent. Ain't nobody untouchable. Anything can happen to anybody. So you're getting extorted for things to still possibly be able to happen to you. So y'all, please don't play into that, right? But yeah, like, he want to be this young Gambino crime boss, young OG, and he, it ain't him. He got to relax, man. Wanting to live off of his dad image, he's tricked himself into believing he's earned this, he's earned this street credibility that he slightly, slightly garnered only because of who his father is, right? He tricked himself into believing that he earned this street credibility. This is him. This is him. He built this empire. Like, I don't know, man. It's it's very sad for me to watch. It's very sad because I've seen dudes like this before. Um, what's on um on the wire, right? What's my man? Wee his son, Naman. What's his name? Was his name Naman? What's the boy name? What was his name? When his son. When they happened, I, I didn't I ain't watched the wire in so long. When when his son wanted to be like his dad, he wanted to be like, oh, you want to be like, oh, that's, oh, that's Weaver's son. That's his son, his son. That ain't him. And it wasn't him. He wasn't cut from that cloth. He was trying to walk in that ill. And it, it, that wasn't Nate. It wasn't him, man. That wasn't Nate. He was trying to be that and trying to, oh, I got to live like my father. His, his mother was trying to groom him to be his dad. And he wasn't no killer. And that was all right. It's okay. He had to realize that on his own terms and realize, I gotta, I, I guess I need to do, I'm doing something better with my life, right? J. Prince Jr., J. Prince has, you know, developed a, into a, a business mogul with a business acumen. And J. Prince Jr. wanted to be the, 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 later, the latter side of his father, the, the, the part of his father that, you know, has, that he left, he kind of left behind in a way. He want to be that part of him. And again, I've seen this play out in the hood too many times and it, it, it doesn't end well. But yeah, man, like, I don't know. I mean, he out here being a watered down James St. Patrick, a kid who didn't have to go down in his life, who had everything, had like everything there for him on a silver platter, but want to be a street dude, want to run to the streets, want to gravitate to that in order to seem like he's so thorough. News flash, y'all. You can be a thorough man without being street oriented. You can have street smarts. You can have street smarts. It's good to have street smarts, but you don't have to be game banging in the streets, toting guns, and talking like you a crime boss and acting like you the big. I don't know, like you, 
the head of a criminal a criminal organization. You don't have to act like that to get respect to get women. Women like dudes who just charismatic, who cool, who easy to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Who outgoing, who um got a good personality, got a who funny. You know, who got a little flavor to them. You man, listen, your father put you in a position to have flavor, to dress nice, right? Now you got to develop your own charisma, your own swagger, your own confidence, right? But I mean, hell, your father put you in a position to have money, to have financial prosperity to where you, I mean, shit, if you just want to get a girl based off bread, you could do that, right? But for whatever reason, he want to be, I don't know, goddamn John Gotti, or one of them to, 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 to appeal to the masses. You ain't got to appeal to nobody. You ain't got to appeal to nobody at all. But you, your family, and the most high. That's it. The most high, your family, your loved ones, that's it. But I don't know, man. Like in, This whole situation just rubbed me wrong. And again, I've been watching J. Prince Jr. for a while. I'm like, why does, why does this dude always trying to come across like he's so hard body? You know, it come across like I told you, like how John Morant was coming across before. Like when John was doing way too much, acting like, you know, super tough. He got hollow bullets for dudes and... You know, he been on that, still on that, and he'll never speak on it now. Brother, you're an NBA player. The face of a franchise. With a bright future, how do you make it mega millions? Relax. Jay Prince, you're the son of a business mogul. Right? Who's who's done great things in, in, in the sport of boxing, new music, so on and so forth. Let that be that. You ain't like, you can be his son and be cool. You can just be Jay Prince Jr. yourself. All that trying to be, I don't know, like, again, Tariq St. Patrick trying to, I don't like, it, it, it's way too much, man. It's way too much. And it doesn't come across as authentic, and people can read right through it. You can look and you can listen to him like, man, that ain't dude, man. He's putting on a character. He's putting on a character, right? He's dressing up as a character as if he's playing in a movie. And when you hear him talk, you're like, oh, no, fam. Dude trying to be his father. He's trying to be his daddy. He's trying to be him. But we know, deep down, he ain't cut like that. And that's all right. You could be a regular cool dude with a great business acumen yourself. You could have picked that up from your father instead of trying to be, I don't know, Suge Knight. Everybody want to be Suge until it's time to face Suge Knight type consequences. You got to sit down for a while. And when I say sit down, I ain't talking about sit down in your crib and sit down on the couch. Sit down in a cell for a minute and think about all the crazy stuff you did. A lot of dudes don't recognize that ain't the route to go until they they, they want to be Suge until they got to go sit down and do Suge Knight type, Suge Knight type of time. And I ain't wishing that on Jay Prince Jr. because I don't know what he had to do with nothing. I don't know. But, you know, it's just you got to slow down out here. Slow down. Be you, be yourself, and people will love you. Love you for that. They'll love you for that, man. But he just seemed to be like every time putting on an air to be like this the biggest gangster you'd never seen. Like, fam, like, no. Cool that out, bro. Like, ain't nobody to ain't no, nobody really nobody believe in that for real. They just not right, they not on that with you because out of respect for your father. But if you was a regular old Joe out here. He probably would have been, people would have probably been trying to expose him. Like, bro, that you ain't got to do that. You know, and I ain't trying to be disrespectful to the brother. I'm just like, yo, it's it's no money in being street. Unless you're trying to be a rapper and sell off street credibility. But eventually, dudes that try to sell off street credibility, they start trying to really still be criminals. And they end up in jail. So at the end of the day, what was all that for? For you to end up in jail for years and years and years and years and sit down? Nah, ain't nobody trying to do that. So, yeah, like, trying to, like, bro, like, nah, bro. You're not going to cash in off having some street credibility that you didn't even earn in the first place. And then I don't even like the term earning street credibility. Man, just be, just be you. Sit down, be you, enjoy the fruits of your dad's labor, and then build your, build your secondary empire. Take that blueprint from your father and his business, his business acumen, and you do something in the business field. For you to keep revenue running in for your family and keep generational wealth abundance and f abundantly flowing within y'all bloodline. Do that instead of trying to be 
uh, Suge Knight Jr. trying to be, I don't know, God damn it. Who else out here trying to, I don't know. He's trying to be one of these crime family bosses instead of trying to be Bumpy Johnson. Be you. You're not James St. Patrick, Tariq St. Patrick, none of them. You J. Prince Jr. And it's all right for him to be that. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.